hi so let's create ring as shown in the uh, photo I have just created one circle of 17 mm so this is my circle and let's uh, change color light gray this is my active layer so whatever I'm going to create it is going to create on this uh, metal layer so I have just selected one template so that's why it's coming in such a way okay now uh, suppose I want to create uh, <coughs> ring as required required so let's first set the top cow size top width what we are going to consider uh, top width so we will have option line from midpoint so let's take a quadrant and go see uh, if I am moving my cursor from this viewpoint to another viewport it is changing its C plane C plane means catching plane orientation so you can see the result in perspective if I am moving from one uh, uh, viewport to another viewport so it's changing its orientation so for right now I'm just using uh, right viewport temporary turn on ortho specify 7.5 mm uh, okay I I have just used line from midpoint so I have to use half of the value so 3.25 is okay and just click now this is my top width and similar way we have to also define bottom width so just for right now I'm just moving my uh, this line to bottom position oh sorry let's take copy okay and just reduce little bit scale as per your requirement okay so right now I have just taken 4.492 so suppose if I want to change its scale use scale option scale 1d this point to this point and now uh, define value you want 5.5 now its middle point is here so now move it from here to here so now it's aligned centralized okay so now use top view to make proper cow so I'm just going to use cow interpolate points and stepwise define cow turn off ortho mode you can uh, turn it on and off as per requirement so also I'm just turning off O snap uh, let's create again So creation speed is also uh, it's very important. So you can adjust your cow as per your requirement. So just create another cow. So we'll have the judgment. Okay. So for right now, I just need to add little bit more uh, length and. okay adjust your points as per your requirement so see this is the why I'm just setting this curvature because uh, at the end of the ring once I create the ring I need this point inside the shank so we have to just take care before uh, creation okay I'm just uh, intersecting the curve and uh, again the same way just drag this point outside so it will uh, look more beautiful curvature okay don't uh, deform the shape and uh, just move it little bit inside okay so for right now I have just uh, set as per my requirement all the points so now I don't want this line for the moment so I'm just selecting them all and moving to another layer and turn off the layer so I can use in future okay right now I'm just going to use cow to two view command so cow 
so we have to type crv to two view so select first curve and second curve it will create the merging result now again i don't want these two curves move them to another layer now i just want to create solid from this object so first use rebuild rebuild is rearrangement of points on the curve so right now it is 36 i am just uh, add convert to 16 but make sure it is showing preview so shape should not be gone deform deform so you have to make the changes in such a way that the curve maintain its curvature okay so right now i have 16 points okay now i want to define cross section on this curve so i am going to uh, use this option from c planes here i have another option c plane perpendicular to curve now select the curve and uh, set the first point and define cross section here so i'm just going to use this option rounded rectangle so use center point and click here and specify 1 by 1.2 and 0.8 is the radius now move it upside okay now uh, define another bigger section here so again use the same option select the curve and set your okay turn off the center or snap and now click on the midpoint now again set your cross section use center option so it will create cross section using center here i am just going to use 1.7 by 2 and point it is the radius value and uh, move it this point to this point okay make sure you don't have to uh, move on circle but we need it on this particular curve okay it is okay now again define the third cross section so use c plane perpendicular to curve and drag it here now use this option center click here and specify again 1 by 1.2 and point it is the radius now move it so i have set all the cross sections according to curve now use sweep option first cross section second and third make sure their starting points are uh, the same so yes all the three are starting with the middle point bottom middle okay now just click done option and you can see here shade it now i just want to create similar copy along the curve so go to front view and use array polar option and uh, specify your center point so this is my center point number of items 4 you can also use 5 and angle to fill so suppose i want to start from this point and up to this half 90 degree so click on this horizontal means start point to 90 degree so it has created such shape as per our required similar way i want to create copy on the another side so go to front view use array polar option select the center and for for right now i'm just confirming number of items 5 but start point is here to another side this side i'm just clicking this side but same 90 degree now go to perspective and check your view check the properties means check your display uh, view okay this is perfect so for right now i am just going to create shank so i want my shank up to this and then i will going to uh, boolean difference 
so turn on all the points okay this is my bottom you know just uh, let's check sweep one uh, this is my first rail and this is my cross section so okay this is a little bit more so let's scale it down so click here and uh, scale now again you sweep option this is our temporary view so we can understand that this cross section is going to merge inside the shank so this is fine but i need little bit bigger here so for right now delete it and uh, we can also use the same but okay now go to front view create the line from this okay uh, cows are disturbing so hide them i don't want here okay go to front view click the line turn off okay you have to uh, turn turn these options on and off as per your requirement don't keep all the options turned on every time uh, similar for the ortho and all other options which are required so you, you can use ortho right now and then you can also turn it off so for bottom shank uh, width i'm just going to use 1.25 because my uh, i have just created cross sections uh, this one is not more than uh, means I, okay always take care while you are creating cross sections value for this shape because the shank width and uh, its height is very important it should be merged here okay we will see it and uh, for this case i have to just use another line so i'm just tick, tick mark my start point from here and now going to front view and uh, turn off ortho and i'm just specifying 1.25 is my thickness here okay so this is my one cow this is another cow temporary turn off this patterns now use the option start and end point on arc so this is my start point end point and set your uh, cross section as required so this is uh, okay now use sweep one sweep to option this is my first rail second rail cross section and cross section and now use offset surface option i am just going to use both the side options distance is one so thickness is one so total will become two uh, so let's change it d enter and 1.25 edit both the sides now unhide all the patterns so this is merging perfectly and now i just need to boolean these points so this is not intersecting perfectly so what we can do select the shank and turn on the solid edit points and select these two points and move it little bit inside so it will go inside this pattern and we can easily uh, difference it okay so select the bottom shank and mirror it from this point to this point okay it's matching perfectly yes so now we can apply boolean difference select the shank enter and select this pattern okay make sure it is uh, converted to solid so select the object and click here it is surface so we have to apply cap option so cap will convert surface into solid so right now it is closed solid poly surface so we have to apply to all the patterns because all the objects are uh, surfaces so select and apply cap because if it is surface it will not consider for 3d printing so make sure cap option is applied okay so for right now 
this is merging this is not perfectly merging what happened okay let's check it later for right now just apply boolean difference so select the shank then select the another object okay we have just clicked uh, we need to click boolean split so select the shank then this pattern again select the shank and this pattern so select both the cutouts and move them to this layer and hide them okay so this is my uh, ring okay the object is coming little bit outside so it's not coming perfectly on the ring so we have just make something error we can also use array option uh, rotate option so for right now select go to top view and select all these patterns and rotate and uh, start point is uh, here so from this point to this point keep this copy option yes and now let's check okay so it is merging perfectly okay so if it's coming little bit outside so select and turn on the points and move little bit inside so it will get merge you can also use scale option okay okay this is okay 